How are we doing once again? Thanks for stopping by for another video review. This time I have a review that's not just about Apple products or anything like that. It's a useful product for about anybody that has any kind of portable electronic device. Uh, and so let's just go ahead and just get right into it. So here we are about another video review. This review, like I said, is about a universal product. This time it's actually for a battery backup for any of your, your nice little devices, whether it's a phone, tablet, digital camera, anything that really uses electricity for its power. And this is the No Outlet No Problem Expedition. This is actually a third generation, the Expedition 3.0. And uh, I actually contacted No Outlet No Problem about doing a review on one of their products. They were excited about sending me one. They sent me one. I was going on a couple trips, so it was kind of useful to do some of my testing at that time. And uh, here is the product. This is the Expedition 3.0. Now, when they, uh, they offered me to try it out, they asked me a, a couple of different colors. I chose the aluminum, just because I like the aluminum color anyway. Uh, and I was actually not expecting it to be this elegant. This is pretty nice looking actually in the end. Uh, very, very simple to use and very, very handy. It has 11,200 milliamp hours built into this little battery, which uh, is about the same as what an iPad, uh, you know, a full size iPad actually has. Um, iPad, I think, is about 11,500 milliamp hours, but of course, uh, you'd have to look at the new specifications depending on which out at this time of the video. So, it, it would about double the capacity of your iPad. Uh, the My iPhone, however, I can get several charges out of before it actually drains the sucker down. Uh, I went on a vacation, which I'll show you a video here in a little bit of how I was actually using it on vacation. and. Uh, I not only charged mine up to get double capacity out of my phone, but my wife's and my brother's as well, and uh, from time to time my parents. So this little guy is a handy little tool. Uh, it's very simplistic. On the front, it's got a little display here with a on button. On the top, it has a let me flip it over here a one amp five volt USB port as well as a two amp. 5 volt USB port. Now obviously the 2 amp is for any large devices like an iPad, but of course if you plug your phone into here it's actually going to charge faster as well. Uh, at least that's what I found in my testing. has a standard uh, I, um, USB mini port for charging the actual battery here, as well as an indicator light. Uh, of course this indicator light is for the charging purposes. Uh, or actually, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. The indicator light's on the front. This is actually a flashlight. Uh, it's another little handy guy. If you actually push and hold the power button on this sucker, uh, it turns a flashlight on. And so it's a little handy little extra tool that they give you because, you know, if you're in a, a dark situation, something to use. So, sorry about that. Uh, otherwise, full aluminum body. Uh, let you know, obviously, Maine, China, which basically everything's made in China. It's actually, no, no, no problem, is actually a company based here in the United States out of Colorado, so they do all their uh, designing and everything here in the United States, and it's a fantastic little product. Uh, so on the front, when you actually hit the power button, it'll actually bring up a percentage of how much power is actually left in the unit itself. Right now I'm at 91% because I did actually charge my phone up uh, just the other day with it. Uh, it actually holds the charge very well, well, as, uh, very well as well, so I did let it set for... Um, good three probably weeks or so just setting not using it trying to see how if if it would actually drain any how much it would drain over time over that the course of three weeks it didn't change the output at all and then i actually started using it and it worked fine so um it seems to have a very good shelf life so the battery that they're actually using uh is very very well well done so uh what actually what, what comes in the box when they send it to you is obviously the ba the portable battery itself they also give you a nice little plastic package with some little ends, just uh, standard ends. So they give they have a universal USB port and then you have, a, like this is the uh, dock connector for the Apple products which plugs into the universal USB port. Uh, all fine and dandy as long as you have a device that actually uses them. So they do have mini USB, micro USB, any of those devices. Uh, but they don't have obviously the new lightning connector from Apple. So I have an iPhone 5 which uses the lightning so I didn't really use that so much. Um, and obviously, the, the two devices that I've mainly used with this battery pack is my iPhone as well as my iPad. Um, the thing that you'll notice about the iPad, because it's such a large battery and it takes a, lo a long time while using it, if you're using the iPad while you're charging it, it doesn't charge at a very fast rate, um, which is one thing I did notice. Uh, however, aside from that, it, the, this little guy 
is going everywhere with me since I got it. I, I absolutely love this thing. This is actually my fourth portable battery that I've ever used. Um, the first three, first one was actually one I did a, a Mophie, a case, which is fine for the iPhone. It was it was a case that's running the iPhone, made the iPhone very bulky, wasn't my favorite. This device, the way that I found to use it, basically what I've, and I'll show you in a video here shortly, placing it in my camera bag as I was going around Dis Walt Disney World, uh, and then of course plugging in my phone and just setting my phone in the camera bag with it so I didn't have a cord hanging around, worked fantastic and I didn't have to charge my phone all the way up obviously if I did it great if I didn't so be it you know I could plug it in again later um, but obviously I'm going on rides and then come back out coming back out and using it and you know going from there so fantastic so obviously those things and then they all they also give you a nice little uh, manual like they should showing you outlining how everything is supposed to be used uh, demonstrating different gadgets so even portable gaming systems uh, MP3 players, any of that stuff. I mean, anything that can be charged via USB, really, can be done or charged with this portable battery unit. Um, the nice thing about this is the size isn't too overly all large. You can put it in your back pocket. Actually, it, it's a little bulkier, but uh, I have I actually did have it in my back pocket uh, at one point. I definitely keep it with me when I'm at work because right now I'm working in a, a remote location that has really poor cell signal, so my phone tends to die fa faster than uh, usual. Also, uh, when if you use your phone or any of your devices for obviously listening at work or something like that, or in, you know for music purposes, and you don't want to drain your battery while you're listening, you can plug the USB into here into your device, and then the auxiliary cable into whatever um, you know a boombox or something you're plugging into. If your device doesn't have a capability, or using Bluetooth even, um, fantastic little device. Great for car camping. Great for about any use. Um, the nice thing is you know that eleven thousand. Well, 11,200 milliamp hour battery in here can uh, charge your devices for quite some time. So you can get a lot of charges out of them, specifically with like a, a cell phone or something like that. Uh, tablet, things like that, of course, they're a lot larger in nature, so they take a lot more juice. But doubling your capacity of your iPad or if you have a Samsung tablet or whichever tablet you may have or whichever one you choose that works best for you, this device, this portable battery unit is fantastic. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually go over to myself back down in Disney World and show you how I was kind of using it uh, while I was on vacation. So why don't you take a peek at that? So I'm in line here at the Animal Kingdom for Cali River Rapids and while I'm on the ride I'm going to go ahead and let my phone charge up right now. And about 43% battery so obviously it's just after lunch time here midday and I'd like to have a little more juice. So down here I have in my pillow bag the expedition right here. I'll charge up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually plug in. I use the two app. That's what I like to use. I'm gonna plug that in, and then you can see it's ready to go. I'm gonna plug the charger cord into the phone. Okay. Right away, the phone starts charging. It's charges just as fast as it does from the outlet, so that's the best part about it. And I charge not only my phone, my wife's phone, and my brother's phone. If my parents need it, they get charged too. And even so far. At the end of the day, my expedition has charged phones almost double the capacity, and I haven't even used half the juice out of it yet. So, but I charge it every night, and it works great. So, that's real, real. So, a real quick reiteration of what I kind of went over there, how I did it on my vacation. The very similar, obviously, setup. I have my uh, expedition 3.0 battery pack here, and of course my iPhone here, and then I, I'm just using Apple's standard lightning cable that came with the i the iPhone. Um, and you can plug this in anyway, but I'm going to plug this into the well, into the two amp, and I'll show you. I can do both. As soon as I plug a USB cord into this, it's automatically going to turn on for me. Uh, if this was to obviously not being used, and it was to go off, just clicking the on button will bring it back on. And then I can plug the actual USB cord in, or the lightning connector into my iPhone, and voila, now it's charging. Um, as it's charging, it'll obviously just go up as you're charging it off on wall outlet. It wouldn't actually matter. Um, same thing goes for the, now you can see it's going to unplug, it stops. This is the one amp out. It's going to do the exact same thing, charge as well. Just uh, the two amp is obviously for the tablet purposes, but it does charge even smaller devices faster from what I have found myself. And uh, same thing goes for when you're actually charging this unit itself. Uh, you'll plug it into the wall and uh, maybe I'll show you that. 
for right now. So here's my Exhibition 3.0 again. This is my charging cable, my micro USB. This is a nice and long one so I can do it higher on the video um, from my old home pre actually. But basically you just take a micro USB, take it and plug it into the top here and the little indicator will brighten up and tell you what the the current battery capacity is 91% right now. Of course it'll go up. It goes up to 99%. It'll obviously say 99 because it doesn't have a three digit number here, but 99% would be full. And uh, it'll obviously indicate that as it's charging. It'll take several hours if you're actually going from dead to, to full. Uh, what all I did every time I used, used it, I just used it up during the day and then at night when I'm going to sleep, I plug it in. By the time I wake up, it's always been charged. So I've never actually timed to see how long it actually does take to charge, but uh, it definitely charges in good order so it's ready for me to use it the next day. Uh, I doubt I would ever use a full 11,200 watts in a day, but um, that's definitely a possibility with several people as well. So, uh, But that is the Expedition 3.0 from No Outlet, No Problem. So there you have it, a nice battery backup solution or an extra power source for you when you're, when you're traveling or any time for that matter. I've used it obviously in a job site with low um, cellular tower strength. I've used it on vacation. I've used it just horsing around town when I'm just low in battery. I keep it in my vehicle. I keep it with me almost everywhere I go now. That's the first battery backup solution that I've ever used in multiple locations and that I've actually desired to keep with me because I actually like it that much. Uh, I have yet to use the flashlight feature a whole lot, um, but it definitely could come in handy, specifically if I keep it in my vehicle and I need a flashlight. So, uh, of course, it's not the first flashlight that comes to mind, usually. I always, I always keep another one in there anyway. So, But that said, it is a nice little extra feature. Why not? Um, not a necessity. That said, I love the product. It is a product that I will actually tell people to go out and research and look at because it actually is very well priced for the unit. Uh, obviously price fluctuates over time so I'm not going to say specifically how much it is right here but absolutely go to nooutletnoproblem.com just obviously no spaces, nooutletnoproblem.com take a peek at it. Uh, I Obviously they sent me the product to review. I am in no way skewed by they want them wanting me to be unfair with my review. I'm telling you the absolute truth. This is an absolute great product, specifically for the holidays. So if you have somebody that has a, a lot of gadgets in mind, this would definitely be one of those uh, gifts that could keep on giving throughout the entire year. So that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any comments and questions, post them below. If you wouldn't mind subscribing, that's the link above. And of course, as always, Thank you for supporting my channel, and please tell your friends and family and other such folks. So, until next time, thanks for watching. This is the Tech Gooch saying, see you later.